Hello, hello. Um, this is Burton's Daily, um, episode six, actually. Episode six, bada bing. Um, so today, the thing that sparked my mind and going into the day, actually, was it was something that actually. Uh, resonated with me before but the the wording became I guess clear today and it's have you ever had that feeling or you've seen that person or you could have seen it in a film when something has come to you something of great responsibility has come your way and you've not wanted it and it's not in the sense of being ungrateful or hate towards it but you just not wanted it you know um and to clarify that something it's like it was following me for a long time a very very long time whenever there were circumstances of leadership sorry whenever there were circumstances of leadership and people was kind of looking towards me to be that image i'd run from it whether it was class rep in the day i did try and become it once and and then i got removed because i came to late school a few times but other than that one time it's like people were looking at it and um and i feel the way it's brought me to today is this business and now i'm the director the owner of a business called the monologue room it is now technically i believe on um, two weeks old and i think if i'm honest i'm not gonna say i don't want a business because i'm not gonna speak them words but into the existence that's not what i'm saying but it's it's not my it's not my first love i'd say that it's not my first love to have, to have wanted to have had a business. That's not my first ambition. But, so why do I have one? Well, this business was created out of a need and out of a must. The film industry, especially the British film industry, is in turmoil. It's not... Uh, it's not it's not relevant as much as it is some as a as a as a as a black male um black indish the black industry you could say or the black community or whatever like complains and has issues with representation as they should but that's the reason this happens with asian actors in the uk as well as indian actors controversially in india you don't really see them representing black, white, Chinese. In Africa, you don't really see them representing white, Chinese, Indian. In China, you don't really see them representing black, white, Spanish. You know, China is China. India is India. Africa is Africa. But then the Western countries like America and UK are always in turmoil of argument of representation now there's a historical element that you can go into as to why like there's more people diverse in the country represent the country etc 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 point being because of this turmoil because of this issue it's created this argument and this need but then what then people think to do is majority when it's the black community what they then think to do is make the same exact thing that the white community does but the other way around but they will do it more blatantly like understand what i'm saying here so you have films and movies and tv series that are predominantly a white-led cast yeah 
Now, the director, producer, companies, whatever, won't go in and say, this is a white film. Or this is a white TV show. They won't say it. But they will have the cast mirror that, right? Now, the black community will then, in response, make a black TV series or a black film. And call it a black film. Funny, isn't it? The complexion of tyranny, in a way. <laughs> the complexion of tyranny. That's the only thing that changes. Both forces doing the same thing, but just different complexions. And people will argue reasons we're doing it because they did. So if you want to go to that, that's something that your parents tell you not to do. Don't fight fire with fire. Be better than fire. You know, and it's in essence, that's what I'm trying to create with the monologue room. I'm not, um, I'm not creating a black film company. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm not creating a, a, a movie to have just to be for black films. <coughs> black. That's not what I'm trying to do, like, at all, like... I envision my company making a Hindi film at some point. I imagine it making a Mandarin film, um, a Nigerian movie, American, Spanish. I imagine it really dominating, world dominating every speck of the industry in that sense and unify film not segregate film but unify film under one body in a way and this is a great great journey 24 now and i reckon if i'm and by the time i've hit four or no i believe that this would probably be or likely be a possibility <coughs> As time goes by, people will believe in it and invest in it. I want to put money in it. I want to be a part of it. And that's all it will take. Now, back to the original point of when I said it's like you're forced to do something that you don't want to do. Now, this is coming out of a point of, of necessity and need for the people, not necessity and need for myself. The necessity and need for myself is to be able to play characters of of my own choosing. Now, I wouldn't turn away a film that targeted itself as a black film, depending on the story. Because for me, that's where my eyes are. It's the same as in if there was a TV series or, or a film that was all white, but then they needed a black character. If, this, if the story provided itself powerful enough for me to be in it, then I'd want to be in it. But I do not, by choice, like to represent myself with things that segregate themselves from something else. By intention. I don't like to choose to do that. You know, if I'm honest, there's certain awards that in my life that I will turn down or I just won't turn up to if it is award, an award that goes to me only because of the colour of my skin. Um, that's not the kind of world I want to live in. And I understand that's the reality of today. But I want to work with people and build a reality of tomorrow. I don't want to jump on a bandwagon of a reality of today. Because of a reaction of a reality that was 60 years ago. And you could even say that was last year. And this year or the year before. But... Build for tomorrow. Build for 10 years ahead. Not for how you're feeling now, you know. And I'm only saying that. I'm only saying that and highlighting that because I'm doing it myself. I'm, that's the only reason why I'm saying it. I'm not just talking, talking, talking. It's I'm only saying that because I'm doing it myself. I'm building something for the next 10, 20, 100 years. Not something that is here today now 
that that that's that soothes the delights and people's hearts now you know the current film i'm working on says everything my hero prince harry you know i was just saying to my mom yesterday that if i if i fell down and i allowed myself to stop moving and completely fall into a depressive rock I'm the only one out of the people that I know that hasn't done that. Everyone else has allowed themselves to do. And I mean, yeah, a week, two weeks, like, you have to say, I've had that before. But when we're talking about months on end or years, it just to me seems selfish, you know. I can't, I can't help but believe that because it then comes to a point where the people that see you and love you and um, and want to be around you are constantly affected and you're not you're not allowing yourself to be able to better them you know and again i'm only saying this or highlighting this is because i'm doing it myself i'm not better than anybody you know i'm not smart or more intelligent I've had a better upbringing or more fire in my life, but, and I've probably had worse problems or just as the same problems, you know, if not more, but yet still I hear, I'm here and I'm churning. And then I take up a story that talks about a, pro, a guy living from prolonged depression, something which I would not say my has been my natural radiation. I'm not creating this role because I've lived that life directly, you know. I know the feeling of it, I'd say, you know, because it, 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 it's hard. Like, it feels like you're in. It feels like you're in a hole that you can't dig out of. It feels like you're literally at the, at the bottom of a pit and there's no light. There's no way out. And when people are calling out to you, it's like it's like there's nothing that's going to take you away from that. Like, uh, that's the best, just, uh, in a clear image where I could, uh, could explain for what it's like. It's like, you, that is it. There is nothing. There's nothing that 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 benefits from your existence. But this is why the key thing here is faith. And many people will choose not to believe that because they need logic. They need they need logic. They need it to look and it seem realistic you know if science in a book didn't explain how a baby was born and you thought you as a big boy or big girl came from your mother's tiny womb would you really believe it if logic didn't explain that in a science book you know if science could could prove the existence of, of faith or spirituality or whatever, yeah, then we believe it because it's because because you can see it in front of you, and that's the problem with a lot of a lot of people in that sense. It's 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 all about faith to get out of that rut. But that's one side. The depression side is one side. I'm tackling. I'm talking about. Right, and then the other side is gynecological cancers. I'm a guy. I am a male. I like. I'm a boy. I have things that dangle. I don't have a flat area down there and birth babies. But yeah, I am disgusting and it's trying to establish a film that revolves around gynecological cancer. It doesn't directly benefit my life. I, as a guy, it'd be make it make more sense to be researching in depthly things about testicular cancer. You know, something that would directly affect my own life. But I'm doing something that doesn't that that could be response to my mom, my sister, my daughter one day, my wife, a best friend, my my sister's best friend. 
like a friend that I meet at work you know there's many different things but again this is all fit females they're all females it's the most it's the one of the most selfless projects I could I could research literally it's one of the most selfless projects I could actually research you know but I am doing that and when I created the casting call breakdown I purposely put there's no race and there will never be race with my with my characters like the only way the only way is if I'm literally doing a, 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 a project that is based on a certain area or a certain period of time or a certain particular people you know like I'm not gonna lie if I'm doing a biblical story they're likely to be Hebrews like oh they're likely to be of a darker color you know like that's either they're either gonna be black or like a uh, like a brown like a kind of um, Middle Eastern brown but they're no way gonna be Caucasian because that's a lie you know <laughs> that's a lie you know it's just a lie you know it's but that that's that's that in that sense but if i'm creating a film that is based in london or america or spain or, or anywhere in the world maybe even if like things may vary if it's somewhere like africa or china the majority of the cast might be asian but it depends on where I am. It depends on where I'm locating it. it. Depends on the subject or the topic. But I'm not creating. My my point is I'm not trying to create a black movie, f nor a black movie foundation, nor a black channel. I'm just trying to create a movie station. A movie network a motion picture film company this way universally I'll be able to represent any type of movie you know when the day comes it's you it, it, it feeds after a universal need it's just the delicacy in building it but I think this is a great cost call, call. Like, let me. I'm gonna leave it just with this. Like, sorry, because I'm, I'm like a bit drowning back a little bit. <coughs> I decided to name this film My Hero Prince Harry. A month after I titled the film, a month after Prince Harry, the Prince Harry, the actual Prince Harry announces that he's engaging getting engaged to Meghan Markle next year or this year now because of 2018 the same year I intend that same year my planning and everything is going in motion to make this film and is going in motion to be able to distribute this film if the if timing doesn't say itself that this is meant to happen now then boy you know but hey I'm just trying to create a film I'm just trying to create a movie I'm not thinking about my own independent needs I'm thinking about the needs of the people but again my point being which I started this conversation with is it wasn't my choice this is not my choice it's it's and I, I you, you some people call me foolish for, for for saying this one day when they look back or whatever but he's been telling me or he's he's been telling me that i need to do this he won't let me go just won't let me go and if you ever understand what a calling is you know what i'm talking about However you describe it and wherever you say it came from, you know what I'm talking about. You know the feeling I'm talking about. And for those that don't, stop lying.
because you know what it feels like you do but you're living and denying it that's my some that's why sometimes your head might just randomly start hurting when you're thinking that you need to do something and you avoid it avoid it avoid it and then suddenly your head starts hurting ring the alarm at the sound of music <laughs> but i guess the message i'm trying to i'm trying to say is is follow your calling follow your calling there's something about it that is the true definition of what we are meant to do here because if not nothing else is purposeful nothing else adds up you know what we live and we die and and while we live in we're meant to do just what just work hard suffer drink party then get old and die like there's there's something that doesn't add up to that like there, there, there's something that doesn't quite match up now i'm not going to try and then talk about why we exist and why we live but there's something about purpose there's something about it and you could say that it's just a human's claim to exist but maybe that claim to exist is actually the reason itself rather than looking at it pessimistically maybe it's an optimistic thing you know maybe that's the reason someone's death or someone's issue that happened to them might seem very traumatic and problematic that it happened why them what did it do with losing them but look at this now i'm making this film today and the research that i was able to use is over 30 women that died in the last 10 years that made youtube videos and stuff like that about their deaths now even though you would say at the time that these people's deaths are pointless what so you're saying they all died so you could write your film i'm not saying that they died for me to write my film but look at what their deaths have achieved and helped achieve and if it's helped achieve this what else is it going to help achieve what else did it help achieve during the time they were showcasing it how many how however many lives did it help save it could have helped save a person's life that became a senator that changed a law because that senator that person saw that one video that made them get checked that made them be a, um, an advisor that made them win a humanitarian award that made them become a voice of the people that made them become president that guide guided a country out of war and into a revolution listen you just you just you just don't know but that's my alarm um so my time's up but follow that calling just follow that calling so and if you get to the end of this episode please i want you to write follow that calling thank you this is burton's daily episode five thank you oh no sorry episode six you know the question me in episode five slash six because i made another video in the in the afternoon after episode four um i might upload that i'm not 100 percent sure yet so cool this is like this is like episode five or six you know uh, i'm gonna just call this episode five yeah call this episode five um and if i release that one i'll release it as four slash five so this is episode five episode five i apologize if i said something different at the beginning but episode five